Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about like uh, how we can use a tensor operation and uh, how we can move a tensor from CPU to GPU and vice versa. In this tutorial, we will learn about uh, a very important topic, uh, indexing and slicing, okay? So let us dive in and start looking at, uh, uh, starting with uh, one dimensional tensor. So one dimensional tensor is simply like a Python list. So you can use simply uh, indexes to uh, access any particular item or simply use a colon a start index to in indexed to access the part of the um, list. Okay. So let us say we want to access a third item in this tensor. So we can simply say tensor is equal to tensor 1d and we can simply pass the id uh, the index of the item you want to access if i will say index 4 so it will start with 0 0 1 2 3 4 so the output tensor would be 5 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 okay so let us run and see it you see we got the tensor 5 and uh, slicing is simply like uh, we uh, use a start index and colon and end index is quite simple so we can simply say tensor is equal to tensor and let us say we want to access uh, starting from 2 to 5 okay and remember that this uh, end index is always excluded so we will get Two, three, four, not five. Okay, so let us run. So what we will get is zero, one, two. Two we start from here. Two, three, four, five. We won't get here. We will leave it this part. Okay. So let us run and see it. So you see, we got two, three, four. So this last index is always excluded. Okay. And now let us look at uh, 2D tensors. So I already created examples for 2D and 3D both so that it will be quicker to uh, run through them. So let us look at now 2D tensors. Let us comment this out. Okay. Now in 2D tensor, it's the same. So it is like 2D matrix. So we use I index to uh, iterate through the rows and then j index to iterate through column okay so let us say we want to print this number 7 so we can simply say tensor is equal to tensor 2d so first it will be 0 1 first row and then we can simply say 1 and then 0 so it is 0 1 okay so 1 1 will print as the value 7 okay so let us run and see it in the tensor you see we got 7 ah, similarly we can print any any particular item in this uh, matrix we can simply say 2 3 okay so now you see it is 0 1 2 in uh, in uh, row index 2 and then 0, 1, 2, 3. So it will be 14. So let us run and see it. You see, we got 14. Okay, so now let us uh, let us try slicing here. Okay, so slicing is simply as we have seen here, but it, it goes in multi-dimensional in that sense. So let us try that. So tensor is equal to, so we can say tensor 2D, so what happens is like when we say so it is like uh, d1 d2 okay so this is dimension one this is dimension two now if you want to select uh, uh, multiple or a part of this dimension we simply use here colon and in dimension okay so let us say we want to select these two rows okay so we will simply say 0 1 2 Three. Okay, so it will select these two rows. Now, if we don't want to do anything here, what we will get as output is these two rows. 
okay following so let us print it and see it so the first uh, first index is kind of now sliced okay so now let us run and see it so you see we got um, second row and third row sorry second row and third row of course and now if you want to select uh, items in 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 this dimension in dimension 2 we can simply use that here so we, let us say we want to select from starting from um second to uh end okay so let us say we want to start from two to five okay now it will says it will select first these two rows and then it will start from in these two it will select uh, uh 13 14 and 15 15 will be excluded because the um it's not uh, fifth one so it will select until here okay so it will select these three and these three okay so let us run and see it you see we got 8 9 10 and 13 14 15 and the concept is same for n dimensional array if you understood this much you will be able to uh, extract as many uh, you would be able to handle as many dimension as possible in uh, uh, pytorch tensor in that sense it is similar to the numpy slicing if you are aware of that so now let us uh, try to understand it a bit more uh, high dimensional which is now let us try to understand uh, it in three dimensions okay so let us comment this out and comment this So next, let us look at 3D tensor so that we will generalize our understanding a bit more. So let us see how it works. So our um, first dimension is this part of uh, uh, tensor. This is like when we say uh, tensor 3D0, tensor 3D1, and tensor 3D2. Okay, so let us look at it. So if we want to say tensor is equal to tensor 3d 1 r 1 what we will get we will get this much of this tensor okay so let us print and see it you see we got the tensor this part similarly if we say tensor 0 we will get simply this much of this tensor. Okay, so let us run and see it. Okay, this much is clear. Now we can simply um, do the slicing here as well. We can simply say um, 2 to 3. This way we will get these two uh, uh, sub tensors. Okay, so now let us run and see it. Sorry, if I will say 2 to 3, it will get, uh, we should say 1 to 3. Okay, so it will include 1, 2, up to 3. Okay, so let us run and see it. So now it will get uh, these two, this and this. Okay, so you see, we got those two. Now let us try to uh, do it in second dimension. So the second dimension is simply like if I will say in this, if you buy, if I will say simply use 0, it will select this. If I will say 1, it will select um, uh, 1. Okay. So 0 means it is this. Okay. 1 means it will select the uh, these two. Okay. So let us try that. If I will say 1, what do you expect? We will get what? We will get this row and this row. Okay, so let us run and see it. You see, we got this row and this row. And as, as we have seen similar, we can run here slicing as well. We can simply say 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we will get like uh, these two from this one. 
and these two from this one. So let us run and see it. We see we got two rows from the first part of the tensor and then second part. And now if we want, we can even uh, run slicing on these rows as well. Like we can simply say, okay, we only want starting from two to five. So here what uh, two to four, five would be out of index. Okay, so what it will give? It will give us like uh, five we can say, because it will go up till four, zero, one, two, three. No, it will be out. So what we will saying is 0, 1, 2, it will select these two. Okay, so what we will get is, we will select like uh, these two from here, these two from here, these two from here, and these two from here. Okay, so let us run and see it. You see, we got 19, 20, 23, 24, and 31, 32, and 35, 36. Okay. I hope that much is clear, like how we can do indexing in that sense. There is another uh, convention is like to use uh, first to select like a whole um, section of that particular dimension. So let us say we want to select. Uh, Tensor 3D. So let us say we want to select um zero. So it will select just this part. Okay. Now if you want to say zero case. Now if you want to say zero one. So now it will select zero, and now it will select one. This row. Now we can slice it. Okay. So if you are flowing, so you will understand it. Now, if I want to slice it, I can say two to four. So what we did is here, we first selected this part of the tensor using first dimension, and then at the second we selected this row using index again. We are not using any slicing at the moment. Then we use simple slicing where we say select this row from 2 to 4 0 1 2 to 4 which will be 7 8 okay so let us run and see it so we got 7 8 following i hope it should be clear okay so this is uh, like all that you need to know about uh, indexing and slicing if something is not clear let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it probably uh, with more examples now let us look at a bit more about uh, numpy pieces so in earlier video we have seen like how we can convert a numpy array to tensors but in this uh, we will uh, uh, do both way okay so we will convert a numpy array to tensor and tensor to numpy okay so let us simply create uh, a uh, simple numpy array so we let us say array is equal to numpy dot as array and let us pass here simply a list so we can simply say one two three four five okay now we can print so this is simply like numpy array we created one now let us try to convert it into tensor. Okay, so the utility is simply use torch dot from numpy okay, and pass array as an argument. Now it is a tensor. It is simply uh, quite uh, straightforward in that sense. So we got uh, numpy array we converted into tensor and remember that it will automatically detect the data type of the numpy and inherit that particular uh, attribute in the new tensor okay and uh, now to convert it uh, into numpy array we can simply use tensor dot numpy that's it now this tensor is
Now this uh, tensor is back in NumPy array. Okay, so the the way it works is fairly simple. You can simply use tensor dot NumPy to convert it into NumPy, and then torch dot from NumPy utility to convert an array to PyTorch tensor. I'll just run and see it. So this was our NumPy array. We converted into tensor, and then again converted back into NumPy array. Okay, so in this video, we will stop here. In the next video, we will learn about uh, a bit more tensor operations like uh, dot product or matrix multiplication and so on. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.